Hey, and welcome to my channel. Uh, so I'm a brand new channel. Uh, this will be my first video. Um, it was really in response to, uh, I'm all over Reddit, uh, all over Facebook and the user groups that have to do with uh, Remarkable uh, and other tablets as well. I'm kind of a tablet geek, um, you, the iPad, books, uh, Remarkable, the Kindle Scribe, you name it. I'm kind of a kind of a geek out on this kind of stuff. But there's been a lot of questions about, can I sync my Google Calendar, my Apple Calendar, my Outlook Calendar, uh, any of that stuff to my Remarkable uh, 2 or Remarkable Paper Pro? And there is an app out there called Remarkal, I think is what it's called. Uh, I know on the Remarkable Paper Pro, it requires that you plug it in via USB. You can't sync it over the air. Um, I actually discovered something else that uh, another way to be able to do it. But the catch to this is that you also have to have an iPad. Um, so I want to show you what I can do with an app called A Journal um, on the iPad where I can um, create my own custom templates and then I can bring in my um, calendar entries. Any calendar that you can sync to your Apple calendar uh, can be synced to Remark, uh, no, I'm sorry, can be synced to uh, uh, A Journal as well, sorry. Um, so let me kind of take you through that process here. Okay, so to get started here, I wanted to go into uh, the calendar that's built into the iPad. And uh, I have a ton of calendars synced here, but I want to just take one that I uh, designed just for this, or it's a, a Gmail calendar, uh, because I don't want all my other calendars to be showing up. So I'm on December 29th, 2024. Uh, I'm going to create an entry, um, and I'm going to call it um, a journal sync. Uh, let's see, test. And, uh, whoops, might help if I spell test right. Uh, it's going to be from 5 to 6 p.m. today because that's what time it is when I'm recording this. It's just before 6 p.m. Um, and go ahead and add that. As you can see, it's in my Apple calendar. So it doesn't matter how many calendars I have synced to this uh, device. I can choose all of them in the A-Journal app. So let me, let me go to the A-Journal app real quick. Here's the icon down here. I'm going to bring it up. As you can see, it's already in my calendar, A-Journal uh, sync test. This is a one-way sync, so it'll come in from your Apple calendars into this, but of course, no, you can't do anything here that'll sync back. Uh, that's just not possible. But, so I wanna talk just a, a minute about this app. So A Journal is something that I kind of discovered by accident, it's a great app. Uh, there is a caveat, it does have a monthly subscription. I think it's $2.99, uh, but in my view, it's well worth it. So I, I created this template here. Um, and you can, uh, you can go in and manage your templates. For example, this one's already built. I think I call it um, daily 13 inch uh, because this is on my 13 inch iPad Air. But I can go in and manage the template and I can change any components. I can come up here and hit edit. I can change any components. I can shrink or grow. I can delete, I can add, um, I can edit. For example, this is a, a task list and I've got 15, I've chose 15. I can go from one to 31 different rows for my task list. I chose 15, I named it. Um, I said that I wanna fill whatever space that I give this, I want those uh, rows to kind of space out to fill that area. And then, you know, like I said, I chose uh, 15 there. You can do the same thing over here. I've got the calendar. Um, it will automatically bring in whatever calendars you tell this to sync with. So let me save this real quick and get out. All right. And so I can come into my settings and tell it. Um, so here's my calendar and my also it syncs to Apple reminders as well. But I can come in here and you know tell it my theme color, uh, what day of the week I want to start with, what my daytime range would be. I've got mine from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Do I want reminders synced in here? I said none. If I did, it would fill into my task list over here. Um, and then I can tell what calendars I want to sync with it. So I've got a ton of different calendars. Um, I can choose all calendars or I can just do this one that I've, I've selected for the test. Um, and then I can hit OK. And then, of course, that's going to sync in there uh, like that. So how do we get it over to the Remarkable? It's easy. So you come over here to your uh, three ellipses here in the circle and you tell it to print or export. And then you can do a day range. So um, I typically, in mine, when I'm using it on the Remarkable, I do a week at a time. 
uh, knowing that there's probably going to be some minor changes within the week, uh, but nothing major during that time. If I do have minor changes, I usually just uh, write them into the calendar. Um, so I want to do it from December 29th to December 29th. I can choose whatever range I wanted to do that with. Um, like I say, I'm limiting it to that so that I don't show the rest of my calendar on YouTube. Um, I want my image quality to be high. Um, I can choose to include or exclude the background. So there is an option in this uh, app to be able to add uh, backgrounds. For example, I can uh, I can come in here and I can make it you know festive and decorative if I wanted to. Um, I can make it a 2025. Uh, or if I don't want any of the backgrounds, I can just um, give it a, a different color, like for example, green or. Uh, I can make it blue, whatever I wanted to do there. I am I am more of just a plain background type guy. Um, but you have that option. So when I go into print export, uh, once again, I'm going to choose high quality and then I'm going to save it as a PDF. It really quickly generates the PDF. I can come over here to more and I can export this to my Remarkable. And you're going to see when I go to the Remarkable app, um, I've got that open somewhere. There it is. Sorry, I've got the Remarkable app open here. Um, I did it earlier as a test. Now you see that I've got two entries here, but here is my entry that I just exported. Um, and it's got my calendar entry on there. So. Once again, it's it's only one way sync, uh, but it's a great option because it doesn't limit you to just uh, specific calendars like just Gmail or just Outlook. Uh, any calendar that'll sync to Apple or sync to the built-in calendar in your iPad uh, will show up here. So if you like the video, I know that the uh, I'm working on lighting, I'm working on sound, I'm working on uh, video quality. Uh, this is my first video. I really wanted to get it out there quickly. Uh, because I know that a lot of people are asking questions about this and I haven't seen anybody else share this as a potential example. Once again, you have to have an iPad to make this work, but uh, it's a really, really, really good option. Also, if you just wanted to use a journal to create your own custom templates and not bring in a calendar, if you just want it blank and you want to use it on the Remarkable or any other device, you can certainly do that as well. Uh, but wanted to share this, please, first video, um, I'm going to try to grow the channel. If you would like the video, uh, if you would subscribe, um, I have any tablet, uh, any manufacturer's tablet out there that you can imagine, or most. I don't have Supernote, um, but I do have iPads and and uh, Remarkable 2, Remarkable Paper Pro, and Note Air 4C, uh, Kindle Scribe with a new software. Um, I'm going to be putting out a lot of videos on uh, things that I'm interested in, which is mainly note taking. Um, uh, I've got a lot of uh, different insights on that that I'm, I'm eager to share with everybody. So like and subscribe, and thanks for your time.